escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Name's Martin Hatch. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotaged a Monarch lab. Potential ally? Not even close. Hello, Riverport. Well, it's been a rough night for us. The collision at the Port Donnelly Bridge that has claimed multiple lives is still being investigated. At least a dozen people are confirmed dead, and investigators say they expect to find more bodies, some of which are predicted to be found in the cars at the bottom of the river. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? 
Because it's already happened. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. Jack, you've got to see this. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right, what is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna wanna see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. But what's on the computer? Monarch files I uploaded, and I kept the juiciest stuff on screen for you. Is the city still hunting for me? In full force, there's an entire web page dedicated to potential Jack Joy sightings. Who I've been filling it in with false leads for fun. Do you want to pitch in? Uh, post that I was spotted in the back of a catering van somewhere. You can do better than that. But okay, I'll let them know. The date is, oh, the date is, it's, it's February 28th, Jesus, 1999, Will. William Joyce, 1999, I, after months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing, ready is defined by me since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black holes mass density by, you know, tangent, okay, in short summary, Time machine and works. I'm gonna prove it or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay, core is active, chronon levels are stable. I'll travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive, but I can travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation the machine's core, which is, well, now. Okay. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of Serene's original manifesto for Monarch. They had us practically memorize this. He actually believes he's doing the right thing. It's because he doesn't think the fracture can be stopped. And he's wrong. The lifeboat. Yeah. Well, according to Monarch Communications, Paul Serene just activated that. Far sooner than they were supposed to. 
What does that mean? It means we have less time than I hoped. Anybody here we can trust? Fiona. She's my only remaining contact on the inside. What about this Burke guy? He was under arrest in the same transport as me. Jury's still out on Burke. Hey, Amy, what am I looking at here? I've been recording Monarch communications with the radio that Beth left me. I made a compilation of anything that seemed like it might be useful. No use going there before talking to Dr. Amaral. Sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There. Where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. 7 a.m.? It's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. <clears throat> Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach <clears throat> the other side of the machine. How do I get to that second red light? You may need to find a way to the other side of the machine and climb up from there. <clears throat> Was that Paul? That's how he arrived in the past. How's that possible? It wasn't even the same time machine he entered at the university. 
That's one question I still don't have an answer for. been here before that woman in the picture is you isn't it so Jack there's something you should know 1999 I was eight years old playing in my backyard and a woman approached me told me she was from the future she gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass she gave me this filled with Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. the one who's been painting all over the city. <sighs> Jesus. Climbable. There we go.
hell would your brother put maintenance controls way up there? That's exactly. Back to. Having trouble getting to that red light over there? All right, all lights are green. doing this. I'll set the data into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? This is it. There's no turning back. Wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date? Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. It's Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. Hey, Bobby 